University leaders say they did not want to allow Spencer to speak, but under the First Amendment, it was obligated to do so. He'll be bringing those same messages to UC soon. As Local 12's Anjanette Levy shows us, he'll likely be met with those same kind of protests. America, sadly, is built on the foundation of white supremacy. As images of the Ku Klux Klan played in the sanctuary of New Prospect Baptist Church, Reverend Damon Lynch III led the chorus of voices opposed to Richard Spencer. So Richard Spencer, he's now the poster child for ignorance. He's the poster child for racism. Spencer claims he's an advocate for whites, not a racist. But people who've listened to him talk believe he spews hate. As, as a student at the University of Cincinnati, it's, uh, it's hard to see someone like Richard Spencer wanting to come speak. Uh, this is a man who wants ethnic cleansing. I think it's incredibly important that our community come together, um, everyone of all races, of all ethnicities, of all ages, to say that we are confronting hate with love. Spencer was part of the protest in Charlottesville where a white supremacist ran his car into a crowd killing a woman. The people in this crowd want to show Spencer his views aren't shared by the majority of people in Cincinnati. People keep saying ignore it. You can't ignore this away. You, you cannot. It, it's happening and it's rising whether we show up or whether we stay home. You're trying to do something to us. You're trying to mobilize and organize people to wreak havoc and violence upon us. And that we will not accept. A date hasn't yet been set for Richard Spencer to speak on campus. He originally wanted to speak next Thursday, but that date wasn't available. An attorney representing the man who books his events says they are shooting for a Friday night while classes are in session. At UC, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Students are planning a Choose Love concert when Spencer speaks.